I still encounter people to this day who don't realize that you can have a paid job working for a nonprofit organization. The fact of the matter is, in the United States, nonprofit jobs account for 10% of the workforce. Nonprofits rely on skilled professional workers to deliver on programs effectively and keep the organization sustainable. Of course, there's no rule that a nonprofit has to have paid staff, but for many organizations, having paid staff who can devote their full-time hours to executing on the organization's mission is a vital necessity to get their good work done. So in this video, I'm going to share 22 uh, potential nonprofit jobs or careers that someone can have working paid for a nonprofit and also where to find these jobs. If you're hoping to work for a nonprofit someday or you're starting a nonprofit and you're wondering what are some of the types of paid positions other nonprofits have out there that you might need in the future, I hope this video helps you out. I'm Amber Smith, welcome back to my channel. I am a nonprofit founder and executive director of the nonprofit that I started. I make all sorts of YouTube videos about starting a nonprofit, working for or managing a nonprofit, and other ways to make a difference in the world outside of nonprofits also. Learn more about me and check out some of my trainings and resources for folks who want to make a difference in the world or start a nonprofit at my website in the description below. All right, let's talk about some nonprofit jobs. There are so many different kinds of paid nonprofit jobs you can have with a number of different organizations. You can really apply a variety of college degrees or types of experience or skill sets to a variety of situations in the nonprofit world. So some of the positions that I'm going to describe are unique to nonprofits, meaning you'd only really find them in a nonprofit environment, and some are jobs you would find in any general type of business. After all, running a nonprofit is very much like running a business, and nonprofits need some of those positions as well. One more thing before I get into this list, keep in mind this is by no means a comprehensive list. And also when it comes to the salaries that you might expect from these positions, those vary widely as well. They can vary by the location you are in, the obviously the level of experience you have, um, the size of the nonprofit that is offering the job. If you're interested in learning more about nonprofit salaries, check out my other video average staff salaries at nonprofits. So without further delay, here are 22 types of jobs that you might have at a nonprofit, and I will share a little bit later on in the video where you can search for these jobs as well. The first is typically the top paid position in a nonprofit, and that is the executive director, sometimes called CEO. This is the position that oversees the other staff positions in the organization. They are managing the strategic direction of the organization with the help of their board of directors. They are overseeing the day-to-day -day activities, the programs, the fundraising, and the financing, and supervising those other staff responsible for those things as well. If you're interested in learning more about what an executive executive director does, check out my other video. What exactly does an executive director do? The next couple of jobs I'm going to describe all fall under the category of program related jobs. These are positions that are helping specifically directly move the program uh, of the organization forward. Job number two is social worker or case manager. This is often found in human service, services nonprofits, so organizations that are focused on working to meet the needs of the human beings in their community and making sure that they get the resources they need to thrive in their lives. So a social worker or case manager might be someone working directly with the population served by the organization to help them achieve their goals and meet their needs. The third job is a program coordinator or program manager. This is a, a person who's overseeing the success of a particular program in a nonprofit. Keep in mind that programs in nonprofits widely vary. They can be a tree planting program, they can be a child mentoring program, they can be any sort of program. This person is making sure that the program is operating day to day and meeting its goals. Job number four is a community partnerships coordinator. 
Nonprofits often rely on great relationships and collaborations with other organizations around their community in order to achieve their goals. So a community partnerships coordinator might be um, building relationships and maintaining relationships with other nonprofits, local government, businesses, donors, etc. Job number five is a program evaluation coordinator. This is someone who is responsible for evaluating the success and progress of a program. They're going to be collecting a lot of data, perhaps executing surveys or doing research. This position is really great for someone who loves data and has a very analytical mind and approach to things. Job number six is a policy associate or policy director. This is someone who is researching the issues that their nonprofit tackles and advocating to lawmakers for positions that will further their nonprofit's mission. Job number seven is a very important one, and it is the volunteer coordinator or volunteer manager. This person is responsible for recruiting and overseeing and developing the tasks for um, the volunteers who are supporting the organizations by giving generously of their time. This person also is responsible, responsible for making sure that those volunteers feel recognized and appreciated at the end. The next set of jobs I'm going to describe all fall under the umbrella of fundraising. Job number eight is a fund development coordinator or a development manager. This is the role that is responsible for overseeing the various strategies a nonprofit undertakes in order to generate funding or revenue. And they may also be overseeing or managing other staff who have more specialized fundraising roles. And those positions I'll get into next. Job number nine is a major gifts or sponsorships officer. This is someone who is specifically focusing on high dollar gifts from individuals or institutions or corporate sponsorships to benefit the organization. And a major gift could be anywhere from a couple thousand dollars to several million dollars, depending on the size of the organization and what they would consider to be major. Job number 10 is grant writer or grants manager. This is someone under the fundraising umbrella who is specifically focusing on researching and writing grants and also if they get grants, managing those grants because you don't just get the money and then magic happens. No, you have to manage the grant afterward, which means collecting data and um, making sure your analytics are in order to be able to submit reports to the grant maker who gave you the funding. Job number 11 is a director of planned gifts or endowments. This is usually a position you'd probably find in a larger organization that um, might have a lot of donors who would fall into this situation, but this position works on um, helping donors identify ways that they can make planned gifts to the nonprofit, um, either major gifts or in the form of an endowment, or making gifts in their will for after they pass away. Job number 12 might go by a variety of titles, there's that word variety again, but it is a social enterprise or earned income initiative manager. And what I mean by that is this person is overseeing the earned income revenue model that a nonprofit might have set up. Think of it like a miniature business that lives inside your nonprofit that is generating more revenue. Uh, if you want to learn more about earned income and what are some examples of earned income models, check out my other video, 15 Earned Income Models for Nonprofits. Job number 13 is an event coordinator. But for nonprofits, this involves a bit of fundraising too. So when you're talking about planning a fundraising event, you're talking about all the logistics pieces, which is the venue, the programming, all that stuff, down to the financial parts, which is uh, securing sponsorships, selling tickets, um, getting donations related to the event, and of course, thanking all of those wonderful donors and sponsors at the end as well. The next collection of jobs I'm gonna share all fall under marketing and communications. Job type number 14 is a marketing coordinator or marketing manager. Similar to a fundraising coordinator or fundraising manager, this person is going to be overseeing the whole strategy for the organization uh, surrounding marketing. They might also be managing other more specialized staff under them who are doing things in social media, etc. Speaking of which, 
Job number 15 is social media manager. This position is responsible for growing the organization's social media audience and presence, but not just growing that audience, engaging them and converting them to people who take action to serve the cause, such as making a donation, signing up to volunteer, or attending an event. Job number 16 is a public relations coordinator. This person under the marketing umbrella is focusing on relationships with the media in their area. They're doing media appearances, they're developing communication and messaging strategies, and if any crisis occurs, they might also be dealing with the PR around that crisis. Job number 17 is a digital media coordinator, and it might also include managing social media because that is a digital asset of a nonprofit, but this person is also covering other assets of the organization's um, presence, such as its website, blog, or perhaps even something like video. And the final category I'm going to cover are administrative and infrastructure positions within nonprofits. These are super critical to making sure the organization can run smoothly while it's out there executing on its programs and marketing and fundraising and all that other stuff. Job number 18 is an operations coordinator. Some have also called this a chief of staff and I could see some similarities and some overlap uh, with those two positions, but basically this person is overseeing the internal operations of a nonprofit, which could include anything from um, making sure the nonprofit has the supplies it needs in its inventory to carry out its, um, its other work. It could be supporting managers, it could be overseeing and onboarding interns for the organization or helping with the onboarding process for staff too. Job number 19 is a technology coordinator or manager. This is usually reserved for nonprofits who have a strong reliance on technology as it is. This position might be overseeing what technology is used, how it's updated, or in some cases might even be overseeing the development of custom built in-house technology that the nonprofit is creating itself. Job number 20 is general counsel. This is providing legal support to a nonprofit. It's probably most likely reserved for organizations who are maybe larger and dealing with issues surrounding advocacy or the justice system. Position number 21 is an executive or administrative assistant. This person is providing administrative support to the nonprofit. They are doing data entry, they're answering phones, they're supporting staff with other tasks. And the final one, position number 22, is a finance associate, accountant, or bookkeeper. This position is managing the day-to-day -day financial transactions. They're handling invoices and payments and uh, accounting for the organization. For full-time positions doing this, you're probably going to find yourself at a larger organization. All right, so now you see the myriad possibilities for paid nonprofit work. The question is, where do you find these jobs? So here are a couple places. First, know that typical job sites like monster.com and uh, what have you typically list these jobs also. You can find them just by searching nonprofit than the position you're looking for in those sites. You can also find some of these on LinkedIn, which I know is doing a lot more um, showcasing of job opportunities on its platform as well. But there are also some websites that specialize specifically in nonprofits and nonprofit jobs. For example, if you're in the United States, most states here have a center for nonprofits and those organizations have their own jobs board. So look up if your state has a center for nonprofits and then plus jobs board in the search bar and hopefully that will come up for you. You can see what is currently available. A couple of other sites include idealist.org, Foundation List, Nonprofit Career, The Chronicle of Philanthropy, Impact Opportunity, Nonprofit-Jobs.org, and WorkForGood.org. I'm going to list all of these in the description below so you don't have to remember all that stuff I just said. So I'd love to hear from you now. Are you hoping to land a nonprofit job or are you starting a nonprofit and um, thinking you might need some of these positions in your organization when it gets to the point where it can have staff? Share in the comments below. 
And of course, if you are seeking resources or training on starting a nonprofit, check out my website, foundertofulltime.com. Last but not least, check out my group if you're on Facebook called Change the World or Bust. Lots of people who work for nonprofits, are starting nonprofits, are making a social impact in some other way are in that group and we're just sharing tips and strategies and we'd love to have you. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much.